Hello and welcome to my channel. I recently played the Final Fantasy 16 demo and got really nostalgic. This demo transported me back to my early days as a gamer and reminded me of the profound impact this legendary franchise has had on my life. From unforgettable characters, awe-inspiring worlds, to the melodies that resonate within my soul. So join me as I share my relationship with my favorite titles and celebrate the extraordinary legacy of the Final Fantasy series. This is Growing Up With Final Fantasy. The first Final Fantasy I've ever played and fell in love with was Final Fantasy VII. I remember playing the demo on PC and being completely blown away by the graphics. Later that year, I managed to get my mom to buy me this game. As I eagerly booted up the game on my trusty PC, I was not prepared that I was about to embark on a transformative odyssey like no other. I was awestruck as the game unfolded before my eyes, revealing a world of unparalleled beauty and imagination. The graphics were cutting edge for its time and breathed life into a fantastical realm teeming with sprawling landscapes, towering cities and intricate details. The unique sound effects that were so different from what I typically heard still reverb in my memory to this day. The ethereal melodies composed with such finesse that transported me to worlds beyond the confines of my small room. From the haunting echoes of the opening to the thunderous clash of the battle themes, each note struck a chord deep within my heart. Yet, it wasn't solely the technical prowess that ensnared my senses. It was also the aesthetics that painted a world of untold wonders. The air crackled with an electric energy as you explored the dystopian city of Midgar. Its steampunk-inspired architecture rising majestically against a backdrop of darkened skies. Final Fantasy VII wove a story of epic proportions, intertwining tales of love, loss, redemption and the indomitable human spirit. From the enigmatic cloud strife, the fiery spirit of Tifa Lockhart to Sephiroth, one of the biggest villains gaming has ever seen. Each character became a companion, a confidant and a conduit for my dreams. I found myself cheering them on, shedding tears at their triumphs and tribulations and forging bonds that transcended the digital barrier that separated us. In retrospect, I realized that my love for Final Fantasy VII went beyond mere genre preferences. It wasn't about the JRPG, turn-based combat, or any specific label. It was about the sheer desire to immerse myself in a world so captivating that reality faded into the background. It was an adventure that spoke directly to my soul, beckoning me to shed the confines of the mundane and bask in the extraordinary. Final Fantasy VII was the catalyst that unlocked the gateway to a universe of boundless imagination and storytelling prowess. It became the foundation upon which my love for the series was built. And as I reminisce about that first encounter, I know that my heart will forever belong to the pixels and polygons that shaped my dreams and ignited my imagination. Let me transport you to a time when the stars aligned and the heavens gifted me Final Fantasy VIII. This game left a mark on my gaming journey. Its flaws and controversies were trivial whispers amidst the symphony of my adoration. Final Fantasy VIII was a gateway to a world of captivating aesthetics, unforgettable characters and a story that resonated with my very core. The graphics had reached new heights. The reimagined dimensions and styles of the characters mirrored one of my biggest complaints with Final Fantasy VII. The awe-inspiring CGI transported me beyond my imagination. The seamless blend of reality and fantasy unfolded before my eyes, as the melodies of the soundtrack danced through my ears, leaving me speechless. Alongside Squall and his companions, their destinies intricately intertwined with my own. The setting itself, a harmonious fusion of surreal and real, captivated me like no other. There was just something about this game that made me identify more than any other title. Maybe it was the fact that they were fantasy versions of high school students living in a parallel world akin to my own. This game ignited a sense of familiarity that drew me deeper into the narrative. With each passing moment, I found myself becoming entangled in their lives, 
feeling their triumphs and heartaches as if they were my own. Who could forget that iconic intro where Squall and Cypher clashed in a mesmerizing duel forever etching scars upon their souls? The intensity of that moment, the raw emotions laid bare, set the stage for an adventure that would unfold like a tapestry of destiny. The delicate dance of emotions between Squall, Renoa, and their journey through love and self-discovery mirrored the yearnings of my own heart, igniting a longing to find a soulmate amidst the chaos of my teenage existence. Their story became a beacon of hope, a reminder that love could conquer even the greatest of odds. From the vibrant dance ball scene to the tangled web of affection between Squall, Renoa and Quistis, every twist and turn enraptured my spirit, leaving me breathless with anticipation. The twist that was the revelation of Laguna's intertwined fate sent shivers down my spine, unraveling a tapestry of interconnectedness that defied expectations. And when the final notes of the symphony ended, it left me with one of the happiest endings in Final Fantasy history. I found a profound sense of fulfillment. Final Fantasy VIII still holds a special place in my heart, an enduring story that transcends the boundaries of time, leaving an imprint that will accompany me until the very end of my days. For in this fantastical tale of love, growth and self-discovery, I found solace, inspiration and a reminder that even amidst the chaos of life, there is beauty to be found and love that can transcend the limits of the imagination. With Final Fantasy X, Square, the revered masterminds of gaming technology, had once again pushed the boundaries of possibility, delivering an awe-inspiring graphical marvel that left my heart pounding with anticipation. The promise of a brand new world on a brand new console beckoned me with irresistible allure. As the opening scene unfolded, I was introduced to Titus, a vibrant and spirited protagonist who breathed life into the journey that laid before me. With every step he took, I couldn't help but be swept away in his infectious energy. The pilgrimage to defeat sin became a notion of emotions that echoed in my soul. And once again, the allure of Final Fantasy storytelling prowess had captured my heart, propelling me into another world where dreams and reality intertwined. But this time, I was not alone in this new adventure. A special bond had formed in my life and I had the privilege of sharing this magical journey with my girlfriend. Together, we immersed ourselves in the intricacies of the story as the characters embark on their trials and tribulations. Since we lived near the sea, the familiarity of the oceanic landscapes mirrored our own surroundings, deepening our connection to this fantastical world. The hours I lost engrossed in the game of Blitzball, becoming a beloved pastime. The bonds I forged with the characters resonated with a profound sense of camaraderie. The triumphs and setbacks became shared victories and losses. At the heart of the story, love blossomed amidst adversity. Titus and Yuna, their relationship defined the odds and constraints of their world. Their connection stirred our very souls, for we saw within their journey echoes of our own desires and challenges. As their story wove its way into our hearts, we could not help but yearn for their love to triumph and transcend all boundaries. Yet, as the narrative reached its final climax, we were confronted with one of the most heart-wrenching endings in the Final Fantasy universe. Tears mingled with bittersweet joy, as the conclusion left me and my girlfriend emotionally shattered. It was a testament to the power of storytelling the ability to elicit such profound emotions, leaving an undeniable mark on us. Final Fantasy X became more than just a game. It became a chapter in the story of my life, forever etched in my memory. It represented a stage of growth and connection, a time when I shared an extraordinary journey with someone dear to my heart. The memories and emotions we shared became a tapestry of experiences, serving as a reminder that gaming has the power to touch our lives in ways we could never have imagined. And so, as I look back upon Final Fantasy X, I carry a sense of wonder and nostalgia, a testament to the profound impact it had on my life. 
For me, it will always stand as a beacon to the beauty of shared experiences, to the bonds that transcend fiction and the power storytelling has to touch our souls. Final Fantasy XV became my most anticipated Final Fantasy game, but this time, Square Enix was facing its own challenges with a low point in the company's history. With a decade-long development hell, my anticipation slowly died as the years passed by. Now, as a full-grown adult, I felt disconnected from the franchise and real-life worries had taken up my life. So came the fateful day where the game finally launched and the wait was finally over. As I booted up the game, I found myself caught in a whirlwind of nostalgia. The surge of emotions washed over and transported me back to the days when Final Fantasy held an irreplaceable spot in my heart. The road trip theme was a nod to the adventures I shared with my friends over the years, and it struck a chord deep within my soul. Noctis and his companions became more than just mere characters their banter and camaraderie resonating with memories of my own journeys. The blending of fantasy and reality once again forged a connection with my experiences unlike any other title. The open-world gameplay beckoned me to explore every nook and cranny of the sprawling landscape, each city's architecture evoking echoes of countries I had visited. The familiarity of these environments kindled a sense of belonging, as if this fantastical place was an extension of my own experiences. It wasn't just the adventure and exploration that captivated my heart. The tragedies that unfolded throughout the game also serve as poignant reminders of the losses I have endured. The sacrifices made by the characters reflect the choices and sacrifices we all have to face in life. It was a testament to the bittersweet nature of existence, where joy and sorrow intertwine in a delicate dance. Even with all its flaws, Final Fantasy XV emerged as one of my most cherished entries in the series. Its ability to touch my heart and to evoke emotions in this stage of my life solidified its place as one of my favorite entries. It became a vessel of reflection and a reminder of the fleeting nature of time and the significance of the bonds we forge along the way. As I look upon Final Fantasy XV, I realize that it encapsulates not just a game, but a profound nostalgia for the rest of the franchise and, consequentially, my own existence. It breathed life into my inner child, once again reminding me of the power storytelling can have on our souls. Thinking back throughout the years, my relationship with the series has evolved, taking on different forms and depths. As a child, I marveled at the fantastical worlds and captivating characters that unfolded before my young eyes. Each installment brought a sense of wonder that ignited my imagination. It became a beacon of adventure, a gateway to worlds where magic thrived and heroes rose. It fueled my dreams and nurtured my sense of possibility for the future. And as I step into adulthood, my relationship with the franchise took a new shade, embracing the nuances of maturity and the complexities of life. The stories became mirrors that reflected the profound experiences and emotions I encountered along my own path. The struggles, triumphs, and sacrifices of the characters mirrored the realities I faced, serving as beacons of inspiration and solace. Its influence transcends mere entertainment. It has become part of my identity, intertwining with my personal growth, shaping my perspective and sparking a sense of wonder that refuses to fade. And so, as I contemplate my life, I am reminded that Final Fantasy will forever stand as a symbol of endurance, inspiring me to embrace the magic that resides within life and to embrace the uncharted adventures that lie ahead. Its stories, melodies and characters will continue to resonate and will forever hold a special place in my heart. In this grand symphony of existence, Final Fantasy will echo through the corridors of my memory until the final curtain falls. A reminder of the enduring power of this extraordinary franchise. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. This is Entovania. Thank you for watching.